Hello everyone and welcome back to a quick video about how to use uh, uh, the easy load and save or easy save and load tool that we just released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So first if you open a project here and you just drag and drop the easy save object which is this nice disk inside your scene. So this is where the magic happens. And let's say we want to save and load the location because this story about the location. We want to save the location of one of those cubes in the scene. So let's select the, the desk and open the level blueprint or whatever blueprint you want. And let's call a function actually from this uh, easy save and load object. So let's call a function and it should be here. Yeah, it's inside the easy save object. And I have actually two the easy load and the easy save. So as you, as you might saw that uh, a location for an object is just a position on X and Y and Z, so it's just three floats. So we are going to save the three floats and then load those three floats again whenever we want. So let's go back and pick up the object I want to save and let's take a reference for this object here. And yeah, it's pretty much all what we need from the scene. So let's get here the location. So location and uh, get here. Yeah. Get location and let's break this into three floats. Branch will break break the vector. So now I have three floats. I want to save those three. So I will add a name for each or a key name for each of them. Let's say player position X. And let's duplicate this one actually and three times. So player position Y and Y and player position Z. So, uh, what else? Let's set the, the, the value to be float. Actually, we are going to say float point. So, it's not string. And let's set a key value. Okay, let's connect here the value we are going to save, which is the x position for the first node, y position in the second node, and z position third node, which is going to save to the player pose. Z. So now we are going to save the three floats. And let's trigger this saving functionality if the player presses uh, whatever. Okay, let's say when I press T, I'm going to load. Okay, the load. So I saved all of this. Uh, let's say with R key. Uh, sorry, it's I typed X. <laughs> R key. Yeah was R key. So when I press R, I save the position in X, save the position in Y, and save the position in Z. And now when I hit T, I start loading the position in X, and then let's duplicate position in Y, duplicate position in Z. And let's make it debuggable because I want to print this. I, I don't want to move any object or do whatever thing. I, I just want to print uh, the saved value into the screen. So I'm going to load floats, obviously, and let's put the names here. Let's copy the name. Oh, my bad. Double click. Sorry. Close this. Uh, yeah, right. And I'm going to load player pose X, player pose Y, and player pose Z. All our floats, everything is fine. And yeah, so if I hit R, I save. If I hit T, I load. But when oh errors oh sorry oh yeah I I forgot to connect my disk object or uh, save and load object into this or uh, save and load node. So it should be connected here, there, and it's just three loading ones. Yeah, and come on here. Yeah, yeah, right. So. Yeah, no errors now. So if I hit play and then I press R, I save. Okay, if I hit T, I load and it should print it. Yeah, it's pre oh, what? Yeah, yeah, right. It's it's almost the correct position. Yeah, maybe let's just move this box somewhere because I, the player gets pawned at the same position, so I can't see anything. But yeah, let's move and let's see. Uh, minus 489, minus 46, and this number. Okay, yeah. I, uh, let's move it, sorry. Forgot to move. So, let's move it here. So, yeah. 
it doesn't make any difference, but I feel okay when it's far away from me. <laughs> yeah, and let's play. So as you can see, the new numbers here. So let's hit R, hit T, and yeah, the same numbers, right? So I I just loaded the numbers. You can take those numbers and do whatever. Assign those numbers to a, a, another actor, assign them to the player, assign them to whatever you want. So, this is how to save location. Yeah, it's not direct, it's not saving the location at once, but you save the location in three steps because basically location is three float variables. And maybe, maybe soon with the next update, I'll include saving location automatically. So, you just pick the actor, say save location. And that's it. And then pick the actor and say load the location. And that's it. So, yeah, be tuned for the next update. And thank you. See you. Bye.